Hey, it's Coach with Tactical Hive. We're out on the range today with part two of our rifle body position series. All right, today we're gonna to be going over the kneeling body position right after this. Hey, this video is brought to you by Vetter Holsters. And if you're in the market for a good quality American-made holster, go ahead and check them out in the description below. Now back to the video. Okay, so now we're moving on to the kneeling body position. All right, now this is taught, this is how we do the, uh, uh, the qualification test at BUDS. Uh, so I'm gonna teach it the same way I used to teach it there. All right, first things first, you wanna make sure if you got a sling, you put the sling on. Because if you don't, it's going to be hanging there like a little pendulum, and that's just enough to make your groups open up. So we want nice tight groups as much as possible. Okay, so we have our mat here, and we're going to use it to help us get a nice wide stance. Most people, when they go to a kneeling body position, they choose a much too narrow stance. If you're too narrow, you're going to wobble from side to side. I'll show you here in a second. But in order to avoid that, this is what we're going to, the way I teach this, is so you're going to put your heel right up here against the edge of your mat. You want the mat, that edge is 90 degrees, and you want your support leg to be going right over the top of that nice wide stance. So the best way to do that, get all lined up, and then just, we're just going to sit down here like this. So my toe here is pretty much lined up with my heel. All right, what that's going to do is I'm going to sit down on this, I'm going to work it so that I'm sitting all the way down and I'm going to lean forward, okay? If, if you're not flexible enough to do this, then we'll work on, a, there's a couple other modifications. But for right now, if you can, I want you to sit down on your heel and be able to lean your weight forward, okay? Right now, I've got almost no input to my lower body, okay? And I'm still upright. So this is like a big dead, dead weight sandbag, and I can just lean across the top of it. Okay, now, the next thing we're going to do is make sure our spine is stacked. A lot of times, guys get in a kneeling body position, they collapse over like this. Okay, this is, your, your back is now you being used to hold you up. So you want to stack your spine as much as you possibly can. All right, I'm trying to keep my head up. Now, the toe of the stock, which is this piece right here, you want to find your collarbone. You're going to touch the collarbone and then just drive it back in here, this little notch right here. So I'm going to find it right here. Find that collarbone. It's that painful bit underneath there. And you're just going to push back until it catches into that notch. Now, the reason it's up so high is so I can keep my head up. If I get it down here like this, now I got to bring my head down. And again, I'm looking through the top of my eyeglasses or my eyebrow. So I want to bring this here. And if you find your collarbone and then drag it back, you're going to take that skin tension up. You're going to just pull it all back. If you just put it into the notch there, it'll be loose. Okay, so you want to find the collarbone, drag it back in there. You don't want to put your elbow on top of your knee. You want your tricep on there. And whichever works for you, either pulling back a little bit or pushing forward. Again, getting rid of that, that skin. Okay, just taking up that skin tension so that you have a constant. Okay? Now, once you're here, we do the same thing we do with prone. I'm going to bring my chin up here and scrape my face down. Okay? And then I'm going to lock in. If I can get the magazine up against my, uh, my forearm, that gives me one more point of contact. So I want my weight forward. You also want your butt to be sitting on your heel, but you don't want it on top back here because that's going to you're gonna roll backwards, right? So think of your butt as the tire and your heel as the chalk, right? You're gonna chalk up your butt so that you the, the recoil doesn't move you back. And once we're all lined in here, now we're gonna check our natural point of aim. It's not gonna be as precise as you did from the prone, but it, it'll work pretty good. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna, same thing, get everything lined up, locked in at your target, and then I'm gonna close my eyes and breathe in. Breathe out, 
at the natural respiratory pause, I open my eyes and I go, I'm off to the left a little bit. So I'm just going to take this front foot and kind of walk it over just, just a little bit and just kind of shift. And now I'm going to check it again. I'm going to breathe in, breathe out, open my eyes. Okay, I'm dead on. So now I'm going to do my three round spotter. Off safe, finger on the trigger, breathe in, breathe out. This is about time. Okay, it's off. You breathe in, you breathe out, let the sight settle. It's going to be wobbly, guys. And now when you're breathing on all these body positions, the sight's going to go wherever it goes. Doesn't matter. You know, let it go. Don't try and hold it on the, on the target through your breath. Breathe in, breathe out, let the sight settle. If it's not perfect on there, it's going to wobble a little bit, but you want it as perfect as possible. You, know, you can adjust uh, left and right with your foot and up and down is just going to be, you're going to have to wiggle around and, and, and kind of settle in on there to get it, your elevation correct. Okay. Now, modifications to this. If you can't get into this body position, all right, I still, you still want to be as wide as possible and you still want your weight forward. So, what you can do, if you can't get all the way here on your instep, just come up on your toe and sit on, on that, okay? So it's still the same thing, except I'm up here. If I don't have the flexibility in my leg, I can still get the same results pretty much here like this. If you're really inflexible, there's a bunch of other ways you can try it. You still want to stay wide. Some guys, if you're, their knees jacked up, won't, can't quite get underneath them, we'll have them set them out here like this. So at least the ankle's flat, and I'm still pushing, that weight is still coming forward on this front leg. So when I shoot, uh, the, the, the recoil doesn't knock me backwards, okay? Not ideal, but it, it's a, a, an option if you have to, okay? So that's the kneeling body position. It's never gonna be quite as stable as prone, but it's pretty stable, okay? We expect your groups to open up just a little bit but what you want to be careful, shoot a group from your prone, and then when you come and you shoot a group from your kneeling, shoot a different target. If it shifts, okay, if your group shifts, you are dead on and from the prone, but let's say you're high and left when you go to kneeling and everything's, but you've got a nice tight group. What you're doing is you're changing your cheek weld somehow, especially if you're on iron sights or, uh, or a telescopic sight. With the uh, red dot sight, you're a little more forgiving. Okay, but if it shifts, that's because you've shifted your cheek weld and you, the perceived center of your target, your, uh, your sight picture is a little off. Okay, so that's it for the kneeling body position. Next one will be, uh, be standing. Okay, so uh, again, if you like this content, like, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that notification bell, you know all that, and let me know in the comments if it worked for you. Okay, go give it a try. See you on the range.